All right, YouTubers, welcome back. My name's Dave. Like always, you found <clears throat> do it yourself, do it right. I got a got a new hat from my uh, you know one of my favorite stores. It's actually the fastest growing department store in the United States of America, and that's um, the good old DG, you know Dollar General. So uh, yeah, uh, out here in the mud room. Uh, gonna give you guys another tour of the house and uh, you know I've been I've been working had my head down you know on my knees hands and knees you know elbows you know assholes elbows you know just all over the place uh, trying to get this house ready uh, trying to get house ready so I can uh, you know get my stuff and move in so it actually feels like a house and not a construction zone so uh, without further ado, let's uh, take you for tour number three, I guess. Yeah, tour number three. tours starting out here and you probably wondering why the refrigerator is in the mudroom it's not actually in the house and well it's because I'm getting a new one and I moved it out of the kitchen so I could do some flooring which you'll see you know the red floor if you were a fan of the red floor if you haven't seen the red floor pause go back check out the video link to that video here over here, around my head. Uh, you know, house had red floors when I bought it. Doesn't have red floors anymore. Um, so, had to move the refrigerator, and that's why the refrigerator is now here. Uh, refrigerator's gonna get moved to the either to the garage or to the basement. I haven't decided yet. Probably to the garage, you know, put some cold snacks out there for me. Uh, so, here we go, inside. And uh, you might be able to see some progress. So, like I said, if you haven't caught the previous videos, go back, pause actually, pause, go back, watch the other videos, and you'll see a dramatic difference in this house. Now, you can still echo, echo, you can still hear that echo, but, uh, you know. What can I say? Uh, new flooring. I've painted the cabinets. Also, the top cabinets. Uh, I've got new pulls. New hinges. You know, those old ones. You know, they're old. So, I had to get rid of them. Uh, so, if you, you know, take it all in. Oh, got a new light. Up here, you know, got rid of that old, that old crazy light. I don't, even, I don't even know how to explain it. Everybody had one in their house way back in the day. If you're a, you know, 70s, 80s baby, you know, the, the old light, the old glass looking light. Uh, the old stove still remains, but not for long. Uh, got a new stove, new refrigerator. It's gonna go right here. And a new dishwasher. So, you know. If you're local and you know you want a dishwasher i'm gonna sell it so if you want a white one it works perfectly it's a maytag nope sorry whirlpool it's a whirlpool gold series just used it actually just cleaned just uh, took the dishes out of it actually uh so again in here i carried the same flooring from here to there in here uh and this room is also gotten a new light and let me tell you this old house and these lights were a pain in the nether region let's just let's just put it that way uh you know it had like the weirdest way of mounting a light i've ever seen in my life i had to take it down dig it out 
put the new bracket up there with screws I had to go to the hardware store to get. It. And like I said, it's been, it's been a process. Uh, so, you know, new form. And you might notice over here, I'm missing some tiles. Well, and also over here in this area. And that's because, you know, when I measured, I didn't allow for, actually, I messed up three tiles. So that would have been one, two, and three. I probably would have been only short a couple of tiles. So, you know, I had to order another box and they're on their way, you know, so it is what it is. Uh, easy, easy finish there and over here. Well, maybe not so easy over here, but you know, it'll get done. Uh, some new curtain rods, you know, some pullbacks, some, you know, some sheer, you know, uh, curtains. Cause I want light to come in. I even bought a plant to go, you know, cause there's plant hangers. I put the plant hanger back up and you know, hung a plant. So my sister gave me the aloe plant. So that was very nice of her. And I believe in the last video, you know, I told you all about the paint and all the paint that was done. Uh, also got a new light here because that other one was just awkward uh, and then if you look in here I still got the carpet here but that's not what I want you to look at I want you to look at the floors oh right so if you go back and look and I think the I don't know if the last video had carpet it might have had hardwoods no the hardwoods were out but the hardwoods needed refinishing and you know i know that this is a diy kind of channel but there was no way that i was going to diy those floors and after i paid the gentleman well actually there was like four gentlemen here working uh i'm very glad that i paid somebody to do the floors because that didn't look fun it, it was it looked it looked it looked terrible actually so i'm glad that i didn't try to refinish them myself um but again you know it is a diy channel but you know it is what it is you got to pay some people to do work as you can hear they didn't get the squeak out which i told them not to get the squeak out i wanted the squeak to remain because i wanted the old you know floor house looking feeling so uh another new light fixture actually every room has a new light fixture uh this one you know same light only three as in there it's the same design uh, same thing just this is a three gonna have a you know a dining room table here so you know i wanted a bigger light uh same prob same problem i had up here with the old mount trying to mount the new and it was you know terrible so again uh you know i got to know the people down at the noble ace hardware store pretty well they know me um uh, so they don't even ask me if i have a, a card anymore they just know that i have an ace card because i was like yeah I, yeah i got an ace card why not so uh this again look at the beautiful floor nicely redone it so it all kind of matches and flows together if you remember the hardwoods it had like a weird it was like shedding in there this hardwood floor here was actually not bad, but I had them do it anyway, so it all matched. Um, and as you can see, uh, I painted in here. Um, new curtains in here. New curtain rod in here. And that's all four windows. Uh, I, uh, you know, switched it up a little bit. There's a, like a roundish curtain rod there, and then, you know, I got some square ones to go over here just to, no, why not just to change it up a little bit it's not all the same uh i did reuse the sheer curtains that was here so that's nice i didn't have to buy those but i did buy new curtains here um uh you know a light corner light whatever floor light whatever heck you want to call it i got two of them to lighten it up in here because i went with a big fan and the big fan you know, I wanted one that did not have a light. I don't know, I just kind of liked the, that look that I was kind of going for in here. Just like a, you know, just like a, I don't know, maybe a minimalist look. I don't know what you call it. So this room is actually done. 
I'm not doing anything else in this room. This room is ready uh, for all my crap. So that's why it's totally empty. Just waiting for all my stuff to get moved, which is, it's coming, it's coming soon. Um, this room is also finished, but I gotta have somewhere to store some of my tools. Um, Cause there is, there is more work to be done. And then let's go into the front room. All right, so um, this is really acting as my living room right now. Uh, this TV will actually go in the other room when I get all my stuff. I'm just leaving it here because it sits nicely on that radiator. Uh, so again, uh, new fan. There was an old light up there. Uh, so put a new fan with a light. Uh, I just like this fan. I like the way it looks with the light. So. It's a little bit smaller. This is a 54 inch fan. And the one in the other room is a 60 inch fan. So I got a little bit bigger one for the bigger room. Um, but again, you know, paint. I think that was in a previous video, paint. I had to touch up the baseboards for where the sander guys hit the baseboards. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the floors here in a minute. Uh, but, you know, everything else is pretty much, you know, done. Um, I will say, and I will talk about it in here, all of the outlets, covers, outlets and outlet covers, I replaced every single outlet and outlet cover in this house minus the, some of the ones in the basement. I didn't, go, I didn't go down in the basement. The basement is what it is, but First floor and upstairs, I replaced all of the switches and all of the outlets. And at the end of this video, I'll, I'll post, I'll put, you know, some, some of the old switches. Holy moly, I'm surprised that this house did not burn down with some of the switches and the way that the wiring was. Um, and uh, to elaborate upon that, it literally took me to install and uninstall, install, uninstall, install and uninstall three times to get this fan to work the way it's supposed to and the reason why is because of the old wiring that's up in the ceiling that just basically crumbled in my hands when I took the old light down. Uh, every time I'd throw the switch to see if the fan was gonna work, I mean, I got smart. I didn't put it all the way back together after the second time uh, and it kept shorting out. So I had to basically dig the wiring out up in there to get to good wiring so I could, you know, electrical tape the wires. It was, you know, literally this fan took me literally two and a half hours to install. It should only took maybe 45 minutes, but two and a half hours later, I was not in the greatest of moods, but you know, it, it's done. It works. It works, you know, pretty well. You know, it's a fan. It's, you know, does what it does. Everybody knows what a fan does. Anyway, so, uh, onto the floors now. Uh, you know, I did mention that the work that the guys did, you know, I'm glad that I didn't do it, but I will say that I, I do have some complaints and I complained to the, to the guy. Actually, I didn't really complain. I talked to him. The guy was very nice. Uh, he's a younger gentleman, you know, young contractor guy getting started. Uh, he gave me a, a, a pretty good deal on getting it done. Um, but I do have to say that their attention to finishing details is not not that great and the reason why i say that is because i had to go back and um, touch up some of the filler that they used now the flooring i don't know if you can see like right here the flooring um it, it's it was pretty whooped you know i actually wanted them to replace some of the boards they're like oh well let's let's try to fill it and see if it'll look all right filling it um, they did replace some boards. They actually um, had to do this whole hallway. They put this whole hallway in. Um, you can't see it because it's dark, but anyways. But they did use filler in some of the really high traffic areas. And way, the way they left it was, it was the color did not match. And it was an eyesore. And I, and I talked to the gentleman, he goes, well, give it a week. Um, see if it'll darken in and it did it darkened a little bit, but it still didn't darken To match I guess you'd say so uh, You know, I, I talked to him. He's like, well 
you know, there's really nothing that I can do. I'm like, well, you can't get a marker, you know, like the floor touch up stuff. And, and he goes, well, that's not going to work. And <sighs> finally, I just, I was like, you know what, I'll just, I'll fix it myself. And I, I, you know, I told him, you know, they did a decent job, but you know, they could have done better. So needless to say, I'm not going to re recommend those guys to, you know, to, to, to somebody that's, you know, trying to have a perfection job done these floors you know i wanted some of the character left in the floors and they left some character um which i like don't get me wrong but i didn't like that the filler just stuck out like a sore thumb in in multiple places so it took me a morning on my hands and knees and elbows filling in what you really can't see in the video there's some writing through there uh, you know, I think I did a pretty good job color matching. Uh, now I did get the markers from Home Depot. Um, and these are the markers that I got. Color match markers. Uh, Exacto match. Uh, they work. They work pretty well. You gotta be careful not to get it too dark. Um, so I, I, you know, I figured it out, you know. I, put a mark and then wiped it with my finger, put a mark, wiped it with my finger. If I wanted it darker or lighter, you know, I would mark it. And then depending on if I wanted it darker or lighter, I'd wipe it hard or not hard, push down. I should say push down hard or not push down hard. So, you know, it is what it is. The floors, the floors look a thousand times better than they did. I'm, I'm happy with the floors. I just wish that they would have followed through and finished the floors the way they should have. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, I'm, I really, I really like the floors. Uh, let's see, what else have I done? Do, 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 um, uh, besides the trim, uh, oh, upstairs. Um, so I worked upstairs in, uh, in the bedroom, the main bedroom. I haven't worked, well, other than the lights that I replaced. I haven't worked in, <laughs> in the pink in the pink room yet that's uh that's next on my list but that's not high on my priority uh you know i was trying to get the bottom floor done which i've pretty much done i got some little odds and ends that i have to do so uh let's uh i'm gonna you know, we're gonna upstairs all right so uh new light here up in the hallway can't really see it it's a oil rub light nothing too special uh, also, a new light in there because the other that one was like really old. Uh, and then, whoop, let's turn the light on here. New light here, and a new light in the bathroom. You'll probably see it better without the light on, actually. New light in here only because again, it was that old crazy light that just blinded folks. Um, haven't done anything in the room that I'm actually living in. No, yeah, and then this is the bedroom. Are you ready? Drum roll. That's a terrible drum roll, but boom. It's uh it's minty green. Let's, uh, let's put it that way. It's minty green. I wanted green, I wanted a light green. Uh, I was torn between a couple colors. My girlfriend, you know, she came and visited. And she said either this one or that one. So I basically that one. And it was this uh, minty, minty green color. Um, it's pretty bright. It's, uh, you know, it's what I want. I want something blurred bright. If you haven't, if you can't tell that I'm trying to keep the house light and bright, not going with dark colors. I don't want any anything dark. Um, <coughs> I do have a new curtain rod coming, new curtains and some blinds, these little roll up thingies. They're not gonna get it done. And then I did put a new fan in here. You know, this, is, this is a new fan, this fan, uh, you know. It's uh, oil rub rods, it's fairly small. It's only like a 44 inch. You know, I didn't, I didn't want anything huge. The room is not that big. I just wanted a new updated fan uh, to go in the bedroom. So this is the bedroom. Gonna have, you know, once I get all my stuff, my bed, probably have a dresser over here, some plants. You know, I'm gonna try to keep it pretty minimal. Uh, the room is not ginormous, so I don't wanna clutter the room up with too much stuff. 
I do have a clothes hamper that I built myself. I, I might put it over there. Oh, clothes hamper over there, maybe. Dresser over here. I'm not exactly sure they're going to be the layout, but I know the bed will be here. Uh, this is a closet area in here. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, this is what I've been working on the last two weeks. And let me tell you, it's been nonstop for two weeks. I've been hammer hammer down. Uh, so I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, I do still have to work in this hallway. Uh, not that big of a priority. Uh, I do have to, you know, do some painting in here. Again, not huge. Um, this pink area, this is the next, this is the next project. Um, and the pink also carries in the room. Switch on if you guys want to get an idea. Yep, there it is. That's the pink. Uh, that's the carpet from downstairs. I've been using it as drop cloth. And then all my cool tools. Uh, it is what it is. <clears throat> the preliminary plan is to rip this out. I'm gonna do some demo. <whistles> rip all that out. Gain this little bit of space. I don't know. Maybe put a chair and a little table, like a little reading area or something. I don't know. I just know that I do not want to paint over all this pink, and I don't like this built-in area. It just doesn't. It just I don't know. I just don't like it. So I'm going to get rid of it, and my girlfriend concurs, so it's gone. Um, it's just not gone yet. So, that's, uh, now that I put myself in the dark, that's uh, update number three. Um, I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys like, and like, and like this uh, house uh, video updates. I know... Uh, I know a lot of you guys have uh, commented about the flooring because I posted some pictures on my uh, uh, my Facebook page, uh, which is or Facebook group. Do it yourself, do it right. Facebook group. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out. You know, I, I'm posting pictures of the house. Uh, you know, a lot of people really like that flooring. I really like the flooring. I think it's. Uh, I think it came out beautifully. Uh, not to pat myself on the back, but. I think I did a better job than I really expected myself to do. Uh, I took my time uh, in the corners and in the, you know some of the little integral cut areas, so it actually came out a lot better. I was expecting to have to do some quarter round all the way around the, the flooring, but I don't think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. Now I am going to do some quarter round around here because there is some pretty large gaps uh, on the floor. So I think I'll do some quarter round uh, in here because there is quarter round in there, but quarter round in this room and that room. Um, but that'll be a summer thing. Uh, uh, you know, that's not that's not a high on the priority list. So, you know, if you guys uh, you guys are liking this house content, give me a thumbs up, like, tag, share, follow, subscribe. You know, why not? It's free. Doesn't cost you anything. Subscribe. Uh, you know, I, I'll you know my videos. I don't, you know, I'm not going to charge for any of my videos, so, you know, subscribe, put some comments in the block, you know, what do you think I can do uh, better next time, or what do you, what do you think would, uh, would look good, uh, and I'm, uh, this is a, this is a, you know, probably going to be a project all summer long, all spring, all summer, probably even into the fall, I'm going to be working on this house, not as furiously, hopefully, but, uh, yeah, um, Put some comments in there, you know, do you like it, not like it, what should I do, recommendations. Uh, so like, tag, share, follow, and like always, till next time. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.